Good evening. We have thrown a nest of vipers into our halls of power, and our guards have fallen asleep at their watch. I, like many of you, have had enough, and cannot take any more of these nonsensical games, masquerading as democratic choice within this Tory party leadership contest and the wider British political system. The Conservative Party members themselves cannot choose which candidate they really want and have ended up with two choices, neither of which the party members would ever have voted for when placed against the original set of candidates. Sir Graham Brady would stand in front of the cameras, grinning like a Cheshire cat, looking like he had just finished off performing a sacrifice at the lodge, to tell the Tory faithful who they couldn't vote for. I almost expected to hear the voice of Topol singing, Tradition! And tell me, when you watch the live broadcasts from the House of Commons, do you feel in any way like you are being represented by the infantile pond life jeering at each other as they try to political point score in their narcissistic theatrical exchanges? You have to ask yourself, what kind of person does feel commonality with these so-called elected representatives? And do they drink decaffeinated soy lattes? And have no doubt, this theatrical performance in the House of Commons is a play which is already written, and the House of Commons itself is nothing more than a stage upon which the actors fight for the best roles within the play. With no true, visible, ideological differences between the two main parties, the whole charade comes down to personalities and proficiency in debate against a false notion of political opposition and battle over mostly incremental changes applied by the deep state and the frog that is the British public is boiled just slowly enough to prevent jumping out of the pot. And by that I mean a mass uprising. But it seems that which should be our last line of defence from the state, our legacy media, does find commonality with the political class and are nothing more than mouthpieces for them. Granted, within the press there is some form of criticism levied against our politicians as individual players, but rarely is the system itself questioned or criticised. And this, my fellow peasants, is the illusion of choice that we have. And we ourselves, as individuals, do actually come together and form a collective responsibility for listening to the media and deep state narrative they keep pushing, and we must keep reminding ourselves of that fact. And I would say it's time for a change, but the system is set. It is globally set, and therefore will not change because people power is limited to how much the people will question the system. And the last two years will teach you all you need to know about how willingly compliant the masses are. The unholy systems of men. Thank you, Jeff, for this opportunity to appear on your channel again. And thank you, the listeners. It's much appreciated. Anyway, question everything, everyone, especially me, and don't watch anything on TV. Unless it's something good, of course. Over to you.